Thousands reportedly dead as military jet mistakenly bombs a civilian village in Yobe state. According to BBC Aousa, dozens of civilians were reportedly killed in the early hours of Wednesday, September 15, 2021, after a military fighter jet mistakenly bombed a village named Buhari in Yobe state. According to a villager who spoke with the BBC, three fighter jets went around the area before one of the pilots dropped the bomb on the village population. He added that five of his relatives died in the incident. An unidentified warplane caught fire in Buhari's village in Yanur Sari town in Yobe state on Wednesday morning. Recall that a similar event happened in 2017 when the Nigerian Air Force mistakenly bombed a internal displaced persons camp in Ran, Borno State. The military hasn't released any statement regarding the incident. Reacting to the development, Bulama Bukati, a popular journalist, said BB. See how Sa reports that many civilians were killed and others injured earlier today when a jet believed to be NAF bombed Buhari village, Janusari, local government area, born Fiobe state. I mean, a witness who lost five relatives said three jets went around, then one of them started firing in the center of the village. This area is in the northern part of Yobe, close to BHI swap area of operation. So it is possible that the jets were on anti BH operation. Villagers say they are sure if if the jets belongs to Nigeria or Niger, but it's unlikely to be Niger's given it within Nigeria's territory. There is this area in the northern part of Yobe, close to BH ISWAP area of operation, so it's possible that the jets were on anti BH operation. Villagers said they are sure if they are unsure if the jet belongs to Nigeria or Niger. Okay, so what they are trying to tell us now is what? Because I seriously do not understand what they are trying so hard to say. Or what they're trying to look this whole crime on or what they want to call this well if you ask me this kind of mistake is too much to be called a mistake how can they tell us that they mistakenly threw a bomb in a whole state or in a whole village without them knowing that they were not supposed to throw it in that very place now are they going to sell the same story to the people that have lost their innocent family for just a mistake i don't really understand this at all well let's go to the comment section here yeah, people stay on this someone here said how many times will this type of mistake occurred? Hmm. Is worry not a mistake to Nigerians and to be a president? Why won't everything attributed about him to be accidents? Hmm. Even Nigeria is a mistake. Okay, and someone say Fulani killing Fulanis. Point of correction, Fulani killing Hausa Christians. Ha! Their area in question is Hausa settlement. Jeez, waiting be mistakenly. I no understand. Okay, this name now. Wow. Hmm. Keep recruiting terrorists into the military and give them more power and weapons to destroy civilians and call it mistake. Terrorist government. It's no matter of recruiting terrorists. Go back and read the statement very well before you conclude. Okay. They said the village is closer to the to the or is in a area within the Boko Haram ice swap. So what do you think should happen to them? If I may ask, why are they living close to the enemies of Nigeria? Hmm. How many times have such things happened in United States or Russian? Hmm. It is everything you will know about 
uk and us okay uh i don't really understand this but i will call this incompetency because if they are indeed very competent and know what they are doing they won't actually tell us that they made a mistake in that they should have differentiate or map out that area very well before going to attack that place they would have known where they are supposed to throw the bomb and where they are not supposed to throw so how can they tell us that they made this kind of mistake this mistake is too grave to be called a mistake yes that cannot be ruled out in a battlefield okay i could remember vividly during operation desert storm america bomber jet destroyed british helicopter is part of war okay okay benjamin wake up from your slumber hmm well the american bomber destroyed a british helicopter not territory how can fighter jet circle a target tree yet claim they shot at it by mistake hmm they are not civilian they are boko haram terrorists our soldiers are working kudos wow poor souls only god knows who will build a life at the end of pmb tender honestly nobody is too sure hmm genocide is going on how long will this mistake continue this is the more recent sum are skeptical about selling military jets to nigeria there is no trust hmm. now you can see that government is responsible for all the killings in nigeria what the military jet pilot was just an instruction wow i don't really get this at all well it means that what the military jet pilot did which they are calling mistake it is an instruction otherwise how can military keep making this kind of grave mistake on our innocent citizen hmm well investigating it investigates properly and come with facts back with real pictures apart from the upper jets that are being fixed out gradually nav newly acquired jets identify their targets with precision if the news is true then we should return all the newly acquired jets or question the ability of our pilots hmm. things are getting out of hand if you ask me things are getting out of hand on a daily basis we hear different kind of story this is really really driving a lot of nigerians crazy and so many people are busy reacting differently some people are saying how can they make this kind of mistake why some are saying this mistake is too grief and some are saying that it's not a mistake that is a deliberate act but i would say this mistake is a grave one indeed i mean that what the military jet pilots did which they are calling mistake is an instruction otherwise how can a military keep making this kind of grave mistake on our innocent citizen hmm well someone said they should do their investigation properly and thoroughly before they start killing innocent people in the name of mystic hmm. the pilots are not aware just like their masters at adiaso rock what did you expect when you have a repentant Boko Haram boys recruited into the military of course they will keep sabotaging everything hmm. that's all they know how to do bombing innocent people why not mistakenly bomb bandits and Boko Haram nonsense hmm. if you ask me this whole thing is getting out of hand and things are getting even more and more interesting what is happening in this exactly because i don't get these boys at all or you can go to the comment section and share your take on this article thanks for listening